We are live, everybody. TV Sports 27 coming your way with another episode of the Denver Broncos franchise. We're coming off of the bye week and we're on to the back half of the season. And you can see that we got one final afternoon game left with the Portland River Hogs, the former Oakland slash Las Vegas Raiders. And then we are prime time. Look at that. The rest of the way. I don't know what week 16, what week 17 holds, but we got all prime time the rest of the way. Let's take a look at where we are since we are coming off of the bye week when we are on the back half of the season. I try to remember where all the menus are. This will be fun because I haven't played this game in a little bit. We've been playing a lot of college football and we've been playing a lot of NFL 2K5. So to try to remember these controls will be a, a fun adventure. We got SK Money in the house. SK. SK is here. Here you can see what the Broncos have done so far. Starting things off with the wins going up against the NFC North. Victories against the Lions, Packers, and the Super Bowl rematch with the Bears. Coming up with the big L to Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. But then got some nice victories. The loss to the Houston Texans. And then the victory over the Minnesota Vikings who are wearing their 98 throwbacks. But now, like I said, back half, including this middle stretch of all primetime games, a Monday night football game, and then three consecutive weeks on Sunday night football. So that should be a big business. We're going to get our uniform. Actually, I think we had an injury thing that we got to take a look at here. Let's see. Big decision, big injury decision. Jonathan Taylor probably going to be a high risk of injury so we're not going to start him i've never seen an injury decision in the game where it's like oh give him a shot he won't get hurt it's always one of those to do's all right we're going to get the uniforms all situated and then we got broncos and river hogs coming your way here tv sports 27 Broncos, River Hogs, the last time the broncos will be playing on a sunday afternoon for about a month here Coming up as the Denver Broncos coming in with just two losses. Portland needing this win to keep pace within the division. But we are in Portland. And we were just talking about off camera on our Twitch stream, live Twitch stream. We film these live and then we upload them here on YouTube. We were talking about how this River Hog squad led by Joe Burrow. And they've given us troubles in the past. They were the one team that defeated us during our 15-1 and quest for an undefeated season couple of years ago we're gonna see what they got going on here with our Denver Broncos the so Denver Broncos coming out and getting ready for another post bye week action of Denver Broncos football there's NFL films some folks from Jersey coming down and there you can see the playoff hunt where the Broncos and our former team, the Dolphins, the team that fired us, sitting at 7-2. and two. Meanwhile, the River Hogs at 4-5. and five. This is almost a must-win for them. If they drop to 4-6, and six, they're going to have a really tough time, especially when you got the division leader that, with this win, would move to 8-2. and two. They're going to be in a rough situation here. So here we go, kicking it off. And the old human joystick is going to return this one. And you're going to see Tom Brady the third come on. i got to make some adjustments to the video real quick. As you can see, it's getting cut off. Because I think I still got my Nintendo Switch settings on here. So give me a moment. Let me fix that while you look at Tom Brady the third stats. Good guy. He's got to get those interceptions down. All right. That's looking much better. We're going to see how the Denver Broncos start this one off here on the road. Tough territory in Portland. And they're going to go empty set. Five wide receivers. Keep an eye on number 82. He might be wide open. Let's see. See him right there? Oh, look at that. Completely read all the way by Tom Brady the third. My goodness. Just defense didn't stand a chance on that one. Here's a look. Your Denver Broncos. Since we're coming off of the bye week. And it's been a little time. Let's get a reminder of who we got out there for the Denver Broncos on offense. So, second down and five. Check out everyone stacked at the line for this one. The give to Jameel Pierce. Pierce bouncing to the outside. Riverhogs forgetting to set the edge. 
And it's going to be a first down for the Broncos. So two extremely successful plays for the Denver Broncos to begin this football game. Take a look at it one more time. Where's the edge? You got to set the edge. We got Dan joining us in the chat. Hello, Dan. So we got Dan the Legend. We got SK Money. Maybe WX Man will be here. Back to the crap games. Oh, no Boomer. That's true. There is no Boomer in this one. There is, there is no... There's no bumbling, stumbling. But the graphics are really nice on this. You know, it does definitely does have its have its moments, but we got a holding call against Javier Payton. That's gonna be no good. We'll get some old school games going. We're gonna we're gonna get back into arena football soon once we get done with this season and we get done with our Washington Commanders. We're also gonna be doing college basketball from 2K7. Coming up. No, t actually, T.O. might be in here because we are using draft classes. We are using the draft classes from a bygone era. So T.O. could be floating around out there. Brady delivers that to Arasas. Up to midfield. And so far, no problem for Brady. Tom Brady the third, Throwing the ball. Yeah, we do have randomly, strategically placed draft classes out there. So there, there could be keep an eye out for T.O. Brady, oh man. Could not get that one up and above. We're at midfield. Fourth and six. Yes, he is. He's already won two Super Bowls. This is his third year. And he came in. Justin Fields, who was a longtime Denver Bronco. He came in, won the preseason battle over Tom Brady the third. And look at that kick. Pearson Gatewood putting that one out at the four. He, uh, yes, WX Man is here. The man. Man, we got a loaded house. Yes, it was uh, Justin Fields winning the preseason battle over Tom Brady the third. Justin Fields started the first two games two years ago and then got into a big contract dispute. Won a $100 million contract for a guy that didn't win a bunch of playoff games in Denver under a previous administration while I was in... Miami for seven years, two years in San Francisco, seven years in Miami, and San Francisco seven and two. All my teams are seven and two, and we ended up shipping them off to Los Angeles to the Rams. We got DeMarvin Leo, and there's a safety. Joe Burrow sacked by John Banks, and the people love a good safety. You've seen that episode of The Simpsons where they're trying to go to the Super Bowl, and they're cheering, and they say, oh, you missed a touchdown, and, and Apu says, no, no, I know my cheers, that's a safety. And they go, oh, it's just like that, the safety. Burrow, I mean, he didn't even try to get rid of that one. He was just all flummigated and flustered. But, yeah, Justin Fields shipped off to Los Angeles for DeMarvin Leal, and Tom Brady the third leads a 15-1 freshman season, winning the Super Bowl over the Chicago Bears. And then a sophomore season followed that up with a Super Bowl victory over the 49ers. And it was the first time in Denver Broncos history that they would wear a Super Bowl wearing the orange jerseys. The 49ers, as the home team, elected to wear white, which they never wear white at home. But they were trying to make the Broncos go in their bad luck Super Bowl orange and also try to re uh, recap what happened. Oh, Brady steps up as he passed the line of scrimmage. They were trying to replay what happened in the Super Bowl in New Orleans where the 49ers put up 55 points on the Broncos many, many years ago. The highest single point total in Super Bowl history, if not for Leon Lett for getting to cross the goal line with the football and Don Beebe with his high speed. But it was the Orange Unis the Broncos got the win, and you guys can check out that episode on our YouTube page. It is up on our YouTube page. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Check out the archives going back to coaching the Miami Dolphins and coaching the Denver Broncos, including the two Super Bowl seasons. Follow along with us on Twitch and on Patreon as well because this stream will go up early and ad-free. Jameel Pierce with the first down. We're also going to be doing some more XHL games, which is our Legends Hockey League without rules. 
That'll be going up soon. Mortal Kombat, Utah Utes, Season 21, all the post-game wrap-up stuff, as well as ECW, part of our universe mode, be up there on Patreon as well. So everyone, subscribe and be a big supporter here. Brady, Ruben Drones. Good throwback there with the give, and he picks up two on that carry. That'll bring up second down and eight for Tom Brady the third and the Broncos. Brady guns it in there to Torrey Holt. And it's going to be a first down for the Broncos. Two nothing, Denver. Just five minutes gone here in the first. Broncos creeping into field goal range here. Maybe we'll have ourselves a 5 nothing score. Brady. Now he takes his first sack. Joe Birch. 100 sacks for the big man. How about that? What a career moment for Birch. I think WX Man is a big River Hogs fan. He followed him all the way from Oakland up to Portland. Second and 20 for Tom Brady the third. Brady flips it up to Gary Bryant, and he had his hands on it, but could not complete the catch, which is what they love to say in the NFL. That is Tom Brady the third. That is the son of Tom Brady, the famous seven-time Super Bowl winning quarterback. That is his son. Brady, nobody open. Gives it to Nick Coffey to try to get him into field goal range. Boy, it's going to be a long one, though. 47 yards at the 47-yard line. So once again, the Broncos just hover around midfield. But we'll see Pearson Gatewood, if he can put another kick out of bounds at around the four. Maybe we can line up Joe Burrow for another uh, safety here. Uh, O.J. Simpson's son. I don't think he's out there. There's no O.J. Jr., uh, O.J. Simpson is in the RXFL. He is on the... Uh, actually, he's on the Atlanta Dirty Birds with Tom Brady. Tom Brady Jr. So, uh, if you want to see O.J. Simpson play, wait for the second season of the RXFL. Look at Joe Burrow moving, moving, shaking everybody at the line. Now he's going to run up and play action fake. And Burrow gets lit up by John Banks again. John Banks was the man that had the quarterback sack in the last drive and the safety. Oh, my God. Well, whatever Burrow audibled into, that was a disaster. Oh, man. I put him in concussion protocol or something. It's Look at Portland. Minus 18 yards on offense so far. Burrow, pocket collapsing around him, and for the third time, Burrow goes down. What's happening out there? Joe Burrow, he might want to sign up for Patreon if he wants to see his team do a little better here. If he wants to see some winning football, maybe relive a moment when Portland actually beat the Broncos. Patreon.com slash TV Sports 27. Hey, we can we line it up for another safety here. Burrow. Just has to go short, and it's going to be another disastrous drive for the Portland River Hogs. Broncos up 2-0. to zero. What a classic score. Dante Hall on the return. Oh, hit that spin move a little early. SK wants to be an Ultra fan? Yes, yeah, sign up. Be an Ultra fan. You can request a stream once a month. Whatever you want to see streamed, put that request in. What would you want to see streamed? Maybe Blitz the League? Seems like a Blitz the League kind of guy. I don't know. This reminds me of the 2-3 to three Auburn, Mississippi. Yes. You remember that one? SK, uh, WX Man right, might remember. Auburn, Mississippi State had a game 3-2. to two. What's the final? Classic. Feels like the we should be way ahead, the Broncos, as far as dominating points. 
Feels like we've been dominating this game, but only two on the scoreboard, and Brady walked into a sack. Chase Young with his first, and that's a guy when we've played the River Hogs in the past, where there's been five sacks already in this game. Chase Young's always a guy that comes up with multiple sacks, so we got to make sure we shut that down right now. We got to get that out of here. Third and 16, and Brady to Gary Bryant Jr., and for the second time, Bryant has his hands on the ball. Patrick Sertan, who in real life has made quite a career for himself with the Broncos, but he's been a lifelong river hog here in Madden franchise mode. As Gatewood will punt. Let's see. Is this one? Oh, yeah. Just bounced. Just bounced into the end zone there. So Joe Burrow once again will step onto the field. See if he can't figure out a way to navigate this Broncos defense. Nicely done. I was about to say I'm almost surprised they keep passing the ball rather than try to establish a running game as much as Burrow's been knocked around. But that is not the case. So second and inches. He was the closest the River Hogs have been to a first down all day. They are going to run the football this time. And it is going to be a first down. And that is the end of the first quarter. Jefferson's, he's had quite a few good rushing performance against our Broncos as well. 2 nothing, Broncos. Over the Portland River Hogs. The give is to Jefferson, and he walks right in to big number 98, Hopkins. My goodness. They're taping a pet of the week here. What does that mean? Oh, pet of the week? At this hour? Pets ought to be sleeping. Who's on the couch? All right. Look at this third and one. And Joe Bird. Now that's the play. He did this before and play action himself right into a sack. This time he's going to ha hand it right off to Jefferson. And it's going to be a first down. Portland finally moving it here. Play action fake to Jefferson. Steps up and completed for a first down and more. Pet of the week extra. Bump that. Uh, anyway, no answers, no answers for him. Burrow, short pass to Jefferson. Jefferson, what the heck are we doing out there tackling? Oh my God, amateur, we got to send him back. Send him back to the, the miners or something. The give. And Ely. Man. Impressive. Impressive drive for the Portland River Hogs. Nothing else. We're going to take the lead by a field goal here on the Broncos. Burrow. It's not Jefferson who's in there. It's Brown. Brown's in there. Third and three. Burrow steps up, completes it. And the River Hogs have responded with a monstrous drive against the Denver Broncos here. This is crazy. They had him 
We had this this team shut down. Jefferson, ah, what a stop. Demarius Dubose. His first tackle of the football game here. Incomplete. There's your uh, unbelievably. That is the very first incompletion of the game for the Portland River Hogs. That's crazy. Third and goal. And they give it to Jameer Jefferson. He gets sandwiched. They're going to give the credit to DuBose. Man, at this stage, I mean, as long as that drive was, I would have just gone for it, right? They elect not to do so. Field goal is good. And it is 3-2. to two. How about this score, huh? Dante Hall, let's see, can he get us a good little solid return? I mean, I don't know what number 25, because Sean Clemens just running up the field. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dan, Dan Startle. I, just, I don't know, but we got we to gotta pull, gotta pull something together here. This is nuts. Pierce. Outside, bounces inside. Nearly has the first down. <laughs> baseball. Colorado Rockies, right? Portland, Portland and have a baseball team. Oh, Pierce! Loses a whole bunch of yards. CJ Drayton, the Texas Longhorn. We've had their number in college football, so it's fine. Third and four. Open. Ooh, bit of a rough-looking pass from Tom Brady the third, but Dervasis comes down with it. Second catch of the day for the fullback. And a Broncos first down. Brady, oh, and once again, Cade Stover. It's Stover and Chase Young that always come up with multiple sacks when the Broncos play the River Hogs. Brady couldn't even step up into his three step drop before he got dropped. Brady intercepted. Patrick Sertan, it was one-on-one. -on -one. And Patrick Sertan wins that battle, unfortunately. Man, one-on-one, -on -one. how does, uh... How does Tory Holt get beat back there? Did we re-sign him yet? I gotta look, I gotta look at the contracts after this. Well, good field position for Joe Burrows here with three and a half to make this a more respectable score. They hand it off there to Jamar Jefferson. Jefferson takes it again. Only got 16 yards on the ground. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Burrow wide open, first down. Is that Justin Jefferson? No, it's Micah Pittman. The Oregon Duck coming up with the reception there, and 
This uh, may very well be the last play for the two-minute warning. Back to Jameer Jefferson. No, no they're going to say second and inches, but we'll say... Oh, they're not going to run the clock. Oh, my God. Now we'll say two-minute warning. Three to two, River Hogs leading the Broncos in this one. Broncos trying to hang on to their AFC West division lead. It's been a dominant team since Coach TB Sports has come here to take over. They're two years with the 49ers, seven years with the Dolphins. One Super Bowl appearance with the Dolphins in those nine years. Screen pass got blown up for Joe Burrow, but coming here to the Broncos and after one year... That two seasons got him to back-to-back -back Super Bowls. Looking for the, the first NFL team in history to win three in a row. But it's not looking good right now. As Joe Burrow, after a atrocious start to this football game, has found his rhythm, right? I mean, he's in rhythm like a pet of the week right now. Burrow, no pressure on him. Finally loses the football, but it's recovered by the River Hogs. Offensive lineman, boy, Burrow. Tuck and run at that point. This time he steps up. Terrible throw. And the River Hogs. Oh, no, it's third and goal. Looking like a contested on match game 79 when they don't match with Richard Dawson. There's the give to Jefferson. Oh my goodness. I think one juke too many for Jameer Jefferson. Leon O'Neal with the stop. Broncos take a timeout in this game that's 3-2 to two, is about to be 5-2. to two. This is a baseball game. Broom from the right hash. Boots it straight through. And, oh, it's 6-2. to two. <laughs> I'm thinking safety. Yeah, 6-2. to two. If I can add. Let's see. 3 plus 3 equals 5. 6-2. to two. See if the Broncos can do with it. It's going to be tough. 40 seconds. Two timeouts. Dante Hall can set the stage with a good return here. It's the Broncos up to the 29-yard line. Well, the Broncos moving the football have not been able to cash in on points. No cash and prizes for the Broncos on this. Tom Brady the third. And again, Gervasis. Broncos will hurry to the line. They're going to try to hang on to their timeouts. 15 seconds. Boy, a lot of time ticked away. That's terrible. Brady caught by Torrey Holt. And there's a timeout. So a chance for one more quick throw. Maybe you get into field goal range here. I don't think you can do anything more than that than to try to get into field goal range. You got to go quick as well. Caught. Did he catch it? He did catch it. Wow, okay. So a 59-yard field goal by Sebastian Janikowski. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think it's going to be possible. So we are going to do WX Man's favorite play. We're going to do a good old Hail Mary here. We'll do a four verticals. How's that? Who are we looking for? I think Torrey Holt. Well, Torrey Holt's got an X factor on him. Let's go R1. Let's get it right in the middle. Barely gets rid of it. Oh, it's caught! Touchdown on the Hail Mary! How about it? Woo! Brendan Smith on the Hail Mary with the touchdown. And the Broncos will take the lead going into the half. 
Unbelievable. How about that? You call the drive. Call the timeout. The drive from Tom Brady. And the touchdown. Oh, are we going to shank the extra point? Jeez Louise. I cannot... <laughs> I cannot get these kicks under control. And I haven't played this in forever. Uh, well, you know, 8-6. to six. Keep it interesting. That's going to be it for the first half. If those of you that are watching on YouTube, we want to tell you guys to come on back for the second half. Broncos and River Hogs. We're going to have a good second half. It's going to be an interesting second half, so you guys don't want to miss it. We'll see you YouTubers tomorrow.